Hello everyone. In previous part, we learned how to run first PHP program on Windows. In this practical, we will see write a script to accept two integers. Here, we are using the HTML form with two text Question is, write a PHP script to find mod of the two numbers, find the power of first number raised to the second, Find the sum of first and number. Here we are considering the first number as n. Find the factorial of second number. And we need to write the separate functions for each of the above operations. So let's see what is expected answer for this. So here we need to check this type of a text box. Okay, because here we are considering the two numbers, number one and number two. We'll accept this two number from the user. Here we will give the many given choice to the user which operation you want to perform, either more power, sum, or the factorial. The user can click on any of the one operation and he can he or she click on submit. So you will get the output on your browser. Suppose you selected the mod, here you will get the answer as a mod. If you selected the power or the sum or the factorial, according to this choice, you will get the only one answer on this second browser, in this second screen. So let's see how to write the program. So first we need to create this HTML file. This is your HTML file. First you need to write the coding for the HTML file. And this one is second is your PHP file. So first we will write the coding for this file, HTML file. In that we need the two text boxes with the number. And then here we need a choice. So see how to write the program for the text. So here form action see here first form action equals to function one slash dot PHP. Here why we are touching the form action? Because when we are clicking on a submit, it will go to this file where we are using the method as a gate. We know that here is a two method, gate method and fourth method. Here I am using the gate method. Number one here, I want this two, number one and number two. Here I am touching the number one and number two. Why? Because see here we require this number one and number two. That's why here I am taking this number one and number two. For this input type equals to number. Don't take the text as your input type. Here we want the number. So take the number. Name equals to number one. And second, input type equals to number. And name equals to number two. Write this number one and number two carefully because we are going to use this in a PHP script. Then, after that, which operation you want to perform? So for this, we need this four choice. So for this, we are going to use the radio button. So input type equals to radio, name equals to op, and the value equals to 1. Here, there is a more than one radio button we are going to use. So write the first is level 4, first is more, okay, more of the two number. Okay, level is more of the two number. Then, second is power of first number raised to the second. And here value is 2. Write this value carefully because we are going to use this as a case constant in a pitch case in script. Then after that, here input type equals to radio, name equals to OP, value equals to 3. Okay, third value. Then similarly here write the fourth value and here write the factorial of second number. So these are the different choices. And then after that, input type equals to submit. So you will get this button submit. Okay. And when you are clicking on that submit button, automatically you will jump to the this file, this one file. Okay. So this is your HTML code. Now, how to uh, write the code for the PHP? Let's see here. Here again the same thing. Here we are going to use first. See, number 1 and number 2 is two variables. Number 1 and number 2 from this HTML file we need here because we are taking this as an input parameter by using the case function and storing it inside the A and B. 
then dollar case op op is what here op is different values is op and here value is 1 2 3 4 means the user is selecting the choice 2 or 3 then it will store the answer inside the op so p will give this answer to the ph then here switch inside this ph case 1 mock okay case 1 stands to mock so when the choice is 1 1 is where 1 is here okay 1 is for what 1 is for more more of the two numbers so we will check the here more dollar a comma dollar b so we will check the more of the here break is there then call do the call to the function power then sum of first n numbers and the factorial of numbers so call accordingly and now we need to write the definition of this different function so more the function function is a keyword more is a function name which is parameter a and b and start the function from the here dollar c equals to dollar a mod b so more of first and second number is here then power of number power of dollar a comma dollar b the first will consider the final number equals to one we are assigning this value to the one here see power of a raised to b when we are considering the a raised to b uh, so here we are considering this b okay b we are storing inside the n1 and we are using this n1 here means till the power this means if uh, you are doing the 5 raised to 2 then 5 raised to first time do the 5 into 5 into 5 so how many times you need to write the 4 times so first take the 1 into this 5 okay final number is initially 1 so 1 into dollar a is 5 1 into 5 then again do one more time as a it is greater than the 0 till the it becomes the 0 you need to do so you will get the power and then print the answer after the sum of first and natural numbers then here we are considering the condition given to us is when you are calculating the n uh, num find the sum of first n numbers considering the first number as a n we need to consider the first number as a n so So here we'll take the parameter dollar a as a first number, dollar a store inside the number, and we'll store this number inside the dollar n. Here assign the sum equals to zero until your n uh, greater than equals to zero, we'll add this uh, number. Means your number is a four, then we need to add the four plus three plus two plus one because here we are doing the n minus minus. So till your number becomes a zero. You need to add it and then display the sum here. After that, factorial of number. Again, the condition is given. Find the factorial of second number. So, we'll write this uh, condition for the thing. Number is equals to dollar b. Here, we are taking the second number as a parameter. Factorial equals to 1. For dollar x equals to number, we are assigning this number to uh, x because here we store this b inside the number so that x greater than equals to 1 and x minus one. here we are calculating the factorial of number and we are displaying here and then in the case we know this function factorial function the sum function or function power function but here we need to write all these functions inside the separate function and we need to call them inside the switch case because this is many given program for this all operation Okay, so how to run this program? I have already explained how to run this program. So for this first, watch the previous video where to save this file and how to run. And also, and again, telling you, see, here inside the GAMP folder in HTTP, HTTP doc, see, in HTTP doc, you need to create your name folder. And inside this, I have created the one folder here. And inside this, I created the first assignment here with the HTML file. You can create right click and you can create the new file. And you need to save this file. Okay, save this file with the all file format. And then here you can create the file. How to run this code now? We have created these two files. First, we need to save this code. So just click on a control S to save this code. And then open the one browser 
and on that type here your file name. Okay, open the browser with local host and then your folder name. So my folder name is this. Press the enter. I have created one folder inside this. So you can click here. So you will get the folder here or you can directly type the path here. So I want to execute this one program. So click here. So you will get the function one practical dot html or otherwise you can write the whole path here directly. Take the number one. Suppose the number one is four. Number two is six. Then which operation you want to perform? Suppose you are selecting the mod of two number or power of first number to the second number. You can select the any one and just click on submit. So you will get the here answer. Again, I want to execute it one more time. You can uh, select. You can take the number three and number two is two. Then power of first number is to second number. Or you can take the mod of this two number. Click on a submit, so you will get the mod of this two number. Again, see the refresh it. First number is five. I want to calculate the sum of first and number. Here I am considering the first number as an n. So just click on the submit. So sum of five number is sixty. Okay. Then again go back. You want to calculate the factorial of the second number. Just click on the factorial of number. Second number. You click on the submit. So factorial of four is twenty four. So in this way, you can write the program to complete your practical assignment. This one assignment. So we will be create this type of output. Thank you. And if you have any query regarding this.